Hi Jules. Today I am going to be doing something a little bit different and this is going to probably be a longer process than most of the time, most of the projects that we do. Uh, I know that I have a few that are still in progress, still trying to figure out a way to finish those. But today we are going to be starting a, what, what can you call it, a junk journal magazine-ish type thing. But we're going to be using a magazine to make a junk journal. Now, this magazine is... The pages are thicker than normal. It's the Bizarre magazine. I get this on subscription. So, uh, we are going to be turning this magazine into a junk journal type thing. Just a bunch of gluing and pasting and just making random things. I have already went through and I've taken out a lot of the perking ads and everything. I've already ripped those out. So, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be just basically gluing pages together and I'm going to be using some glue sticks uh, so we're going to be gluing maybe three or four pages together to make one real sturdy one real sturdy page now I have all kinds of bizarre magazines that I have uh, put away so this ain't the only one that I've got so we're going to be gluing about four pages together even though there are some wonderful colors in here things that you can use for mixed media i am going to be using this magazine as a mixed media journal so i am going to turn off autofocus because that's annoying as i'll get out all right there you go so what we're just going to be doing today is we're going to be gluing about four pages together and we're going to see how that goes and so wanted to let you guys know and fill you in on most of my days here lately and I've just been taking it day for day and I finally got the sound fixed on my computer and uh, my recording my camera and it's took a while but thank goodness Marina was there to help me out with that and get her done, get her fixed. So that's two glued together. We're all going on with the third one. Things here have been a little bit hectic, but you know, we've got these little kittens that are just stealing everybody's hearts. And they are getting into everything, and I've got little tiny scratches all over me from where they've been climbing me like a human cat scratch pole. And uh, it's just too funny to watch them out there playing in the yard yesterday. I had to turn the camera on. I had to. I thought it was just too darn cute. Too darn cute. And they are growing like weeds. I can tell you that. They are growing like weeds. They are getting so freaking big. But I hope everybody is doing well and I hope you're enjoying the videos that I'm putting out. I'm hoping that I can live stream again sometime soon. I know some of you all miss me and I miss all of you. I miss talking to you guys and having one on one conversation with you guys while I'm streaming. But you know life happens and it takes it takes you it takes you, you know, to say it takes you. So, I have some plans. As you guys know, I have a Facebook uh, online store type thing. I'm trying to get going. Um, if I can remember, I will put the link in the description. But if you go into the video right before this one that's posting, you'll see that link to, to get there. Go check it out. I'm trying to get the business out there. Y'all can order anything that y'all see on there. I've also got my mom's uh, Ami So In Love um, uh, things in there for you to order and call. If you want to order something, just give her a call. I'm pretty sure she can she can uh, do you nice and right. I don't know when my next auction is going to be because 
don't know what's going to be happening, so I don't know when the next one is, but I'll let you guys know as soon as I know. Hopefully to have one soon, but you know, I don't know how to get on there. We're going to be gluing and putting that together with other things anyhow, so. pages down. So I've got two nice and thick pages. I can't wait to start this. This will be the first one that I've done. I'm hoping to do it up right. James Lee's in there being loud with Cooper and I think he's trying to get my attention. I told him I said, listen, i got to put some videos out i got to give my viewers something. This is something I like doing, and I've got extra stuff that I can put in here. I really like this book because it's nice. It's got nice and thick pages. Some of the pages that are that we left open, we might even use some of the pictures that are already on it. Now, if you all would like to have like a themed page, put it down in the comments and I will try my best to think up a, a cute little page that we can use with this, with each, with each page on uh, either side. Now, I'm not going to go in direct order. I'll have to skip around because the pages will be kind of thick when we get done. But, um... Uh, you guys got a theme in mind for the pages i'm open to i'm open to suggestions oh here we go again ripping those apart it's probably where i ripped the ads out the perfume ads i didn't want in here i did not want the, the smellies in here I'm making sure that, that was three so that makes page number three yeah Yep. The pages aren't going to be uh, perfect and nice, but we are going to be covering a lot of these pages up with some paint and all kinds of other goodies. But maybe you all can come along with me in this journal and, and watch this come alive. Alright, y'all gonna follow? I'd love to see you. Love to see you here. If you've got some things that you would like to put in this book that would be really nice for this book, anything, send them on my way. Get a hold of me through my email. Emily Weldon, 1982 at gmail.com, and I'll send you my address. Or if you are part of our Jewel Crew, you can find my address in the RAC file, R A K file, Random Access Times file. You can find me there. And if you are not a part of our group, I implore you to come and join us because we are a really sweet group. We are a loving, caring group, and we love all art. Don't be scared to post your artwork because you might think it's the worst piece in the whole wide world, but another person will think it's the most beautiful thing. Trust me. I've done that myself because I thought a piece I made was just teetotally ugly and everybody thought it was beautiful, so don't doubt yourself. Do not doubt yourself because that was the worst thing that you could have on yourself. Be kind to yourself. Don't put yourself down. So, let's get 
everything going on. Trying to get the, the site up and going and hopefully I will find some new faces to join us. And if you know somebody, tell them about us. Tell them about this wonderful little art group, little art community. And send them our way. Tell them about us. We do anything and everything. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. So, projects that I've been working on, I've been trying to learn a little something new each and every day. And I want your ideas. What should I learn? What should I learn and teach you? Give me some ideas. Put them down below. I'd love to know. Tell me how your day's going. What have you learned? What can you teach me? You tell me. love to hear inspiring things. So inspire some of us and we'll inspire others. You know. Give out knowledge and I will pass it on. I've got a few videos that I have in mind for this channel. One, two, three, four. We've now got four pages. I don't know how many pages we're going to have in this, but we're going to have a really nice book when we get done. Look how pretty that is. I'm about to cover it up. Go figure. All the nice ones get covered up. But anyway, I've got some ideas on some future videos. But this one is going to be something that we work on together, something long term something for yourself. And if you want to play along, go grab you a nice magazine or a thicker magazine and glue some of those pages together and art along with me because that's what I want to do right now. It's just something to take my mind off a lot of the things that are happening in my life. Just be artful. Go grab those magazines, glue those pages together, and be creative. Go dig in that scrap box. Find all those unwanted pieces of paper that you don't know what to do with. Start gluing those bad boys down. And pretty soon you're gonna have you're gonna have a piece of artwork that you didn't think that you could do or put together. Because guess what? This is a mixed media. Mixed media book that we're making. It doesn't have to be perfect. Pages don't have to be straight. It can be bumpy, lumpy, and however you want them to be. One more to go with this one. Yeah. So go find you some of those things that you didn't you didn't think you'd ever use. Let me go find some of those things that you didn't think you would ever use and Stick her down. You'd be surprised what can make art. There's no wrong thing in art. There's never a wrong thing in art. Be creative. Be creative with your art. Because there's no wrong way to do art. There's never a wrong way to do art. So that's one, two, three, four. Five. We've got six pages so far. How many of you think we're going to get into it? Alright, we still got a few left. We still got a little bit to go. I'm gonna need to get me some more glue sticks because I'm gonna go through and wonder where else to put this. Nope. When I get these glue sticks at Hobby Lobby, I'm gonna use the 40% off coupon. I'm gonna get them for like a little, a little over $2. Really good. You get twelve. In, you get twelve, I think. Yeah, you get twelve in a pack. You go to Hobby Lobby and they're glue section. 
っとよかったもん I'm so sorry, guys, that I have not been active a lot. There's, there's, there's just a lot of things going on in my life that I've got to, you know, weigh out and think about. A lot of things happening all at once. A lot of changing decisions. A lot of changing decisions are going to have to be made. So, I'm just trying to take one day at a time to figure things out, I should say. Do y'all ever wish that you could go back to being a kid and not have to worry about any of your bills? Or worrying about if you're going to be able to do a certain thing and get to work or if your car or, or anything is going to break down. Just, you know, the inevitables. You ever wish that you could just go back to being a kid and living with mom and dad and not having to worry about your bills. You just want to be a kid, go outside and play and play until the, uh, the light post came on. Does anybody remember that? Remember mom and daddy hollering whenever the light post or light lock came on and you had to run home? Yeah, I remember that. A lot of kids, you all see them about 7.30, go running for the border, running for their houses. Just they know if they, if them lights are on too long, mom and daddy's going to be lighting the, lighting the fire on their tails. You, know? you had to be home at a certain time. And I just speaking about my butt or y'all remember that. My mom and daddy were strict on this, but you know what? It helped because it helped to raise us and it helped us become who we are today. And all the worries that they had when we were kids. We really didn't pay attention to what our mothers and fathers did for us when we were kids, you know. We didn't pay attention to that. And now that we we ourselves are mothers and fathers, we understand what our mother and father were trying to teach us and trying to keep us from doing in our lives. But us being stubborn kids, what did we do? We did it anyway. And we had to figure it out ourselves, you know? We had to figure it out. And a lot of times, I thought to myself, oh my God, I'm never going to say, you were right, with my parents. Did you know, that I find myself saying that quite a bit here lately. Because there are some things and I remember my mom and dad <laughs> saying, Oh, you better not do this. It's going to cause this. Or it's gonna, you're going to have repercussions. Yeah. Mm hmm. They had repercussions, all right. They had a lot of repercussions. A lot of bad ones, you know. But you know, when, when kids, we don't think about it. We just think about, Oh, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Care. I don't care what you say, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, but now that we go back and we look at our, at our childish selves, do any of you ever regret any of the things that you did, and what you put your mom and dad through, oh, there's plenty in my book, plenty in my book, but you know, that's what our mom and dads are trying to teach us, sometimes, Mom and dads let us do 
those things that we weren't supposed to do and let us feel what their repercussions were. And we would say, and they'd look at us and say, hey, I told you so. I told you so. And then we're sitting there feeling sorry for ourselves because we went ahead and done it even though our mom and dad told us not to. Or they told us to do something, and we didn't do it. Lord forbid. Lord forbid it. We got our little tails busted. We got it lit up like a Roman candle. Like a Roman candle. And we were grounded. Anybody remember being grounded? Kids these days don't know what grounded means. They think grounded is a, a, oh, I don't even know. They think it's fun. The one is grounded. When we were kids, grounded meant you couldn't go outside play with your friends. Grounded meant you couldn't watch TV. You couldn't do nothing but stay in your room. For me, tell you a story on that. When I was a kid, I hated to read, guys. Believe it or not, me, I absolutely hated to read. And I brought some really bad grades home. Really bad grades. And it was over a summer break. And my daddy grounded me. You know, I've grounded for the whole summer. The whole entire summer. And guess what they had me doing? They had me sitting in a corner and they said, all you can do is read. And that's what I did. I sat in that corner and I read until my eyes shut. Day in and day out. Sometimes I read the same book over and over and over again. Sometimes some books were pretty, pretty cool. But me being a kid, I got to read the Dr. Seuss books and, the, and the Harry the Robot. You remember, remember that, that book, Harry the Robot? I used to have that. I wore that spine out. That book was tore apart by the time I read it. I got to read all kinds of books. Even, I got so bored, guys. I sat down with a dictionary and I was reading dictionaries. Because I ran out of books to read. But you know what? By the end of that summer, I had learned that reading was a good thing, that you could learn all kinds of things just from a book. Just from a book, you can learn all kinds of knowledge. I keep losing track of how many pages I've got going down. And when I got, went back to school, I outread most of the other kids. I had a very, very high knowledge. And when I, what I wanted to be when I grew up, guess what I wanted to be? Just kidding. I wanted to be a journalist, guys. I wanted to be a journalist because I seen all these people writing and just Telling their story. Telling their story. And I wanted to be what well, I wanted to be like them. I wanted to tell my story. But guess what? I never became a writer. I, ne I never became a journalist, but I did become a writer. I wrote my own story. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't write it down, you know, per se, write it down. But I wrote I wrote my own life story. I live it each and every day. And I treasure all those memories that I made when I was a kid because I can always look back and think, man, I was I was a kid. I'm glad I'm glad I was a kid. I'm glad I learned all the things I did when I was younger. 
know you guys are just sitting here listening to me yet. I'm gluing this book down. If y'all want to, y'all can turn me off. I'm not forcing you to stay here. I'm just telling you, I'm just opening up a little bit about myself and telling you about a little bit about me, you know, my road of growing up. You know, no one is actually ever truly fully grown up. You know, we all still act like kids sometimes. I mean, we we throw tantrums. Huh, we are adults, yes, I can, I can admit. I have seen grown adults throw temper tantrums. Me included. <laughs> Especially when I wanted to go somewhere and I, and I knew I knew uh, what I wanted and I couldn't get out to go. Oh boy, I would mean I'd be mad. We still got a few pages left. I'm going to act like I said I want to put some more glue sticks on the bottom. Or I might have to use some wet glue. I like that Elmer's glue, but I like it's, it's the Hobby Lobby glue, too. Like I said, you can get 12 in a pack. Well, anyway, I'm off subject again. Back to me. Emily moments. I'm like a flea on a dog. I don't stay long on one subject now. But anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. Huh? Hmm. Grown adults pitching fits. Yep. When I didn't get to go somewhere, when I don't get to go somewhere, I, I do pitch fit. Believe it or not. I do pitch a fit, but I do get stuck. Like, anybody ever stay inside so long, they just, have, they just have this uncontrollable anger that if you don't go outside, get out of the house that you're gonna well you know you're gonna throw some bullets somewhere you know somebody's gonna be fighting some they're gonna have to take you out to dinner or something i get that way i get start crazy and he knows it and he just lets me rant and rave sometimes poor james lee he hears me rant and rave sometimes feel sorry for him to hear me do that. But sometimes it's good to get it out. The all just screaming out. Ooh, ooh, sorry for young eyes. Sorry. I didn't know that was in there, but hey, it's a woman's magazine. You're going to see. You're going to see that. Yeah, I get, I get stir crazy. I get so stir crazy. Like I have to get out of the house. I just go off and walk. I go out for a walk. First, I take my allergy medicine. Then I go for a walk. Well, first, take my allergy medicine with the allergy medicine. And then I go for a walk because pollen is not my friend. Not my friend at all. Makes me sneeze. My goodness. Runny nose, sore throat, wash. Sometimes my throat is just so bad. I feel like I'm making all kinds of noise. I feel like I'm a gremlin just going, ow, ow, ow. You know, making them funny sounds, trying to scratch the back of your throat. You know, you know that little place in the back of your throat? You have to, it's almost like you're clearing your throat. You just scratch it back there. That's what I sound like. Sound like a little gremlin growling. Y'all sit there just to keep on at me. Well, everybody does it. You know. I've seen people just sit there and just make that noise, and I say, "What in the devil are you doing to me? What's my throat is you?" I said, "Oh, I understand completely. Understandably, understandably." But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. And I'm going to finish this. And then the next time you see this book, I'll be creating it. Really? I bet y'all are excited about that. What is Miss Emily going to be creating next? So we have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six.
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pages done so far. And I'm going to finish up those pages, these pages off camera. And so that, like I said, the next time you all see me, we'll have a, we'll have a finished glued book and we'll be able to start putting down some pretty things in this book. All right, guys, I love you all. Thank you all for coming in and sitting here and chatting with me. I enjoyed having you here and watching. And I'm going to leave you with some food for thought. Food for thought. Be selective in your battles, for sometimes peace is better than being right. And you are so, that is so correct. Sometimes just nod your head and agree, because sometimes that's the only way to shut us down. No, guys. Thank you for coming in. Hopefully I inspired at least one of you guys to get out there and create and share your artwork. If you are not a part of our group, come join us at Creative Jewels by Emily on Facebook. And subscribe to the channel if you liked what you see or liked what you see. Come check it out. Got some interesting stuff in here for you. Remember, we are, uh, I have a, um, a business site on Facebook. It's also called Creative Jewels by Emily. Check us out. I'll put the link in the description below if I can remember. Like I said, I've got a scatterbrain. Um, but that's if I can remember. All right, guys. I love you all. And I will see you guys on our next broadcast. Okay.